What is up YouTube? Today we're gonna be reacting to some scary stories by Llama Arts. And yes, this video was inspired by Biju Mike because I do watch his channel. So shout out to Biju Mike and Llama Arts for him giving me permission to react to his awesome videos. So these are all spooky stories that he seems to like animate. So let's begin with the ghost hunting story. Let's see how this goes. Put a full screen. Oh, make sure my volume's up. Wait, wait, let's put our volume all the way up so it could be creepier. There you go, all right. So, play. This happened about five years ago when I was 20. Five years ago. Me and my friend Seth got into this app which showed you ghosts. Ghost hunting app? We'd go out ghost hunting, but. That seems kind of interesting. Happen. Sometimes a dot would appear on one of our phones and it would say <laughs> random words. What? And we would ask, how did you die? That reminds me of like Pokemon Go, you know? <laughs> Everybody had Pokemon Go, they would go out and hunt Pokemon, but this is the opposite. They're hunting ghosts. Stuff like that. And sometimes okay. the answers lined up, but it was mostly random. One night around 2 a.m., uh -oh. Seth suggested going to. Why would you be out at 2 a.m. using your phone hunting ghosts on an app that might even not even be real? Like, come on. The cemetery to see if the app picked anything up. I was hesitant, but I nervously agreed. We started I making would too, our man. way through the neighborhood towards the cemetery. Uh oh. It was weird as the streets are normally lined with cars, but they were empty on this night. Well, he did say they were out at 2 a.m. I mean, yeah, I mean, there would be cars parked. That doesn't make sense, but I don't know. Let's just continue. We walked down the middle of the road with the app running, but it wasn't picking anything up. We finally what? made it to the cemetery, which was a small, family-owned one where they only buried their own. Oh, oh. Seth went up to the gate and started shouting, hoping to get a response in the app, but nothing happened. He's shouting at, at tombstones at 2 a.m., expecting a response. <laughs> this guy seems crazy. I was standing in the road, feeling unsettled, when Seth starts yelling. Is that all you've got? I told him to stop <laughs> disrespecting the dead and we... Yeah, you should never disrespect the dead guys. Should leave. I tried being funny, saying, "Oh, I'll make him show up." Uh oh. And jumped the gate. And started Why would he jump in the in while screaming? Okay, oh, this guy is definitely something. gonna <laughs> regret that. All of a that. sudden, our phone said something at the same time. I looked down at my phone, and it was there. Afraid. We both what? Just stood there, looking at each other, when ten or so red dots appeared on the radar. Okay, so now this guy jumped over the fence, he started stomping on the graves, and he seemed to upset the ghosts, and now they're like, they're gonna go after these dudes because of this guy's fault. And it said it again. When I looked back up from my phone, Seth was next to me. He said, We have got to go. Uh oh, and so now he wants to leave. That, we could hear the street lights turning off one by one from the, oh. of the street. Getting closer to us. <gasps> what? We took off running as fast as we could. Of course, who we wouldn't run? Halfway into the neighborhood before running out of breath. You guys heard those footsteps? How they run? It sounded kind of weird. <laughs> it didn't sound like footsteps. I think I need to stop. I felt like I was gonna throw up from being scared and winded. Uh, I heard my phone say something. Have any of you guys ever thrown up from running so much? <laughs> so let me know. It was muffled, but I knew what it said. Being too scared to look at my phone, I looked at Seth, who looked terrified. He nodded at me to get my phone out, so what I slowly whip. pulled it out. And it I mean, you wanted to do this, right? I turned my phone off and said, Screw this. What? He's done with this? We made our way back to my house and had a cigarette to calm down. We were talking about... Not smoke cigarettes, that is nasty. What just happened, almost not believing it, when I heard my phone again. <laughs> Ooh. This time, it was my sister's name. What? We just stood there, frozen, not saying a word. Okay, that is very spooky. I would be frightened also. Word, when it went off again and said my brother's name. I took my phone oh. out, turned it on, and deleted the app. Hey, that's what this guy gets, right? Like, I mean, why would... I asked Seth to stay there. Why would you stomp on the, on the tombstone of the dead? Like, come on, bro. What would you expect from that? I, but... He refused. I can't blame him. When I finally got to sleep that night, I dreamt a muffled voice repeating a word over and over. I started Ooh. to wake up and the words became clearer. My phone was off with the battery out. What? Oh, I'm guessing and he was I scared. It over, it was lit up with the app running. Oh! It had a red dot 
about six feet from me, still repeating. Oh, this guy's in deep danger. Oh no. You better run, boy. Oh God. Dude, that is so scary. He fainted? Oh my God, that girl needs a shower, man. I woke up the next morning and went to the bathroom. What? I had a razor thin cut oh. from my left shoulder to my right hip. That looks I painful. I don't know what happened that night, and nothing has happened to me since. Needless well, to say, they left a mark on you, dude. That's what you get. I don't mess with that kind of stuff anymore. He learned his lesson, guys. Wow, that was so awesome. <laughs> that was an awesome story, man. He does have plenty of more, so let's go check those out. Thank you to XP Pen for sponsoring this video. Oh my God! Okay, the Lexi. Okay, so I think this one is just like no dialogue. We just kind of see what's going on in the story. What? <laughs> Why do you have eyes behind his head? Okay, this goes running. She bursted into the restroom. It seems like she's running away from something. If you cannot release, it will come. If you, if you yourself cannot release, it will come to take a piece. What? What does that mean? Oh no, she's so frightened. Oh, she's having a flashback. That must be her husband. Oh, okay, so I guess the guy that we saw with the holes and behind his head is her husband. That might be the reason why she took her ring off. <laughs> Girl, you better run. Why well, you just I would have ran right there, man. Like He's in the next stall. I mean, the best thing you can do is just run, not just sit there, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hear the loud rumbling. Don't, don't, don't do it, girl. Don't. What? There's no one. They just disappeared. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Run. No. Oh, my God. This is so terrifying. It's like actually watching a horror movie. Okay, she grabbed the ring. Okay, so... Oh, it got another flashback. Oh, man. <laughs> what? What is going on? What happened to the dude? He just disappeared. Everything disappeared. What? So it was like the ring cursed? <gasps> oh. This is not good for her, man. Oh no. Dude, that thing looks creepy. Rest in peace to that girl, man. Well, I wonder if it was her husband. Oh my god. Dude, look at the... Her leg is behind her head. And she has no hand. <laughs> that was... That was something else, man. That was awesome. Crypt TV. Ooh, nice. Subscribe to me. Oh, I, I'm guessing that was like a collab or something. Well, shout out to Crypt TV, man. Disturbing... Oh, this is the segment, but let's watch it, man. The Disturbing True Snapchat Story, Part 2. <laughs> These are so awesome, this is aren't they? Short, but terrifying story of something that happened when I was Snapchatting with friends. Uh oh. I'm pretty young. I'm only 13. Still that is young. School. A girl I really liked had just recently started snapping me selfie pictures, and we started messaging each other. That seems logical. Months. One night when I was watching TV, she sent me a snap of herself laying in her bed without a caption. 
Okay. She sent a message saying, what's up? What's up, girl? She sent another identical picture, this time with a caption saying, not much, you? She set the timer to 10 seconds, so it gave me plenty of time to analyze the picture. Okay, okay. Including her bedroom in the background. Oh, no. And the dark outline Don't... of a person standing I in the knew it. Room. Oh, God. I quickly I was about to say that. Message saying, is that your brother by the window? Why would that be her brother? She sent another identical snap. That would be creepy. This time captioned, what do you mean? In this picture, the what do you mean? The what do I mean? And I could see oh, it got closer. Glass. I closed the snap before the timer even ran out <laughs> so I could tell her quicker. Uh oh. I said, There's somebody at your window. Turn around. Turn! She opened my How could she not see it though? She, she's taking a and then I didn't hear from Like, her. she has a front facing camera on. She's taking a selfie. You can see directly behind you, right? So, how did she not spot it herself? Again on the hey, uh, I texted her a few times to no avail. I tried calling her a few times uh -oh. to no avail as No well. response? I didn't know her house phone number, otherwise I would have called her parents. Bro, he just stared right out the window and she was down the street. Why didn't you just run down there? Like, come on. It wasn't until midnight when I was already laying in bed that she finally texted me. Back. It was midnight, I understand. She explained the whole situation. As soon as she looked at her window and saw the person standing there, she screamed. Oh, now she sees the person them. Who turned out to be a twenty-something-year-old man to open the window and what? jump into the room. Look From at there, this she maniac. She went to her parents' room and woke her dad, who went to her room to find nothing but an open window. Uh oh. It wasn't exactly a personal story of mine, but it freaks me out nonetheless, knowing that the only thing that saved my friend from whatever could have happened was the fact that I was able to see the window That is cray cray unbeknownst to the creeper at her window The creeper! Creeper jeeper! Wow! That was crazy Well, let's see what else he had in store for us These are so good, man Okay, let's do one more The bathroom, star, airport, stories, animated I don't know if that's a scary one. Oh, Okay, let's watch some scary true pool horror stories Oh. Scary true pool horror stories. Getting the chills. I was approaching the end of summer, and my friends and I wanted to do some cool mischievous things. Of course, who wouldn't want to do crazy stuff so, before the end of summer? I had a genius idea one night to sneak into a nearby community pool. It was actually only a couple blocks away. Okay, okay. It's right smack in the middle of a residential area. So instead of sitting on a main road or something, and actually just sat around a bunch of houses on a quiet road. What? During a hot day, the little parking lot would be full, and the spot would be bustling. But at one in the morning, the place was of course dead. Of course. There's obviously a big fence surrounding the whole front entrance, as well as a cage that gets closed up. When the There's a big fence at the front, but on the sides, I like how they're just a picket fence. <laughs> like what? The place closes, so our best way was to get in through the side. The pig fence. We snuck into the backyard of a neighboring house and hopped the fence over to the pool. It is as easy as that. The four of us took off our shirts and jumped into the pool, which in retrospect wasn't smart, since any of the neighbors could have heard the splash yeah, man. and just called the police. But that is we true. High schoolers. It was very, very dark within when the When you're park. in high school, you're just doing anything with your friends, guys. It's crazy. When closing. This pool had no lights, which is why it closed at sunset. James, Courtney, and Alyssa were on the other side of the pool as I was just kind of doing my own thing at first, swimming around and getting my face wet. I saw Alyssa get out of the pool oh, shortly after. Why'd she run? I swam over to see what was going on. Why did she just she run? She was just going to the water fountain, though. Oh, okay. The three of us just bopped around in the water for a bit, and eventually we heard Alyssa jump back into the pool from the other side. I bet you it's it not Alyssa. To see much more than her black hair covering her face. That is not a, the friend. But just then, we heard Alyssa playfully call to us as she was back I told to the you pool. guys. The three of us in the pool looked at each other. I know they were doing the same thing as me, counting heads. There were three of us on this side of the pool. Oh no! There came Alyssa walking over to our side. So who was that on the other side? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they stay in the pool? I would have ran. I would have gotten out of there. Head bopping around the water across the pool. James said across the pool, "Who is that?" Boy, why are you asking questions? Later, the head went underwater and disappeared. Oh! 
We took this time to whisper to each other, mostly- Why are they still inside the pool? Things like, what should we do? What if that's security? And should we run? Suddenly, of course. I felt something grab my leg with force and tried pulling that's me what you down get, man. the water. I kicked, splashed, and yelled for help. What? James came over to pull me How's out this friend out of the pool the already? We're already running for it, screaming. <laughs> <laughs> the girl ditched them. They're like, I'm out. The of the pool, but the grip on my leg was released, and I was free. Okay, nice. We hopped the same fence we climbed over to get in, and ran all the way back to Alyssa's house. I mean, that's a logical thing to do, guys. Just was run. Was a security guard. That is until they literally tried to pull me under the water. We don't know what to think. Oh man. There are a few possibilities. Maybe it was just another kid messing with us. Maybe it was a security guard who went way too far. Who knows? Or most likely, it was a dangerous person who had ill intent. Oh god, that is creepy. Oh no. <laughs> that was so creepy. Alright you guys, well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the amazing support. And shout out to Bidji Mike for inspiring me. And shout out to Llama Arts for giving me permission to react to his awesome scary video stories videos man and i'll see you guys next time bye